backtrack a bit. Uh, not everybody, not every photographer, no matter how creative uh, you are, will be fortunate to become a presidential photographer. Uh, part of why we, we brought you here is also to, to underscore your journey. How did you f get this job to become the president's official photographer? Okay, you need to adjust your cafe. Yeah. <laughs> from yeah, it's an important right. question. Yeah, from Mushin. Yeah, from Mushin to the world. I, I, I think my my journey was it has been one of grace. You know, not that it's um, a privilege. Um, it, it's it's a privilege, not that it's my right. Yeah. And I owe that honor and respect to the president for giving me such a privilege. He didn't know me from, I, I always tell people, my father did not even know our local government chairman. Neither did I know the uh, councillor in my area. Neither did I even know the state government. All I knew was just my camera and God. And I think that um, played a huge role. And the journey started from me studying pure and applied chemistry in the University of Lagos and finishing with 4.26 CDP. And the joy was that I was going to go and work in oil and gas company. You studied chemistry. I studied chemistry. pure and applied chemistry. Nothing to do with photography. Pure <laughs> and applied chemistry. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's why you had good chemistry with the photographer. <laughs> <laughs> pure and applied chemistry. No pun intended. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it was quite interesting because immediately I finished university, I then went for NYC. And my plan was I was going to work in oil and gas company. I had called my contact at Chevron then. I said, oh, ma, I'm going to you know, I'm coming for NYC, and then <laughs> I made sure I was posted to Port mm. the, the oil. Then I got into Port Harcourt, and they said, um, everybody that comes to Port Harcourt or River State teaches. <laughs> Teach <care. laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, well, at that point, what, what do I have? I had always loved to take pictures mm. in University of Lagos, any event. Was your father My father a is a photographer. Beautiful. So I loved it, but I didn't understand what I was doing. I just felt passionate about it. I could photograph anything. So when I went for NYSC, you know, the, I was, you know, available. I had free time, and then I started traveling. We were doing rural rugged. We would go from village to village, and I was documenting. Mm -hmm. And I remember wearing an NYSC uniform and going into a photo laboratory because I had to do wait and get in NYSC camp. So I do wait and get. That year, oh, yes, oh. I'll print that very and year. pass my mem. I'll take the picture, pass my memory card to one of the photographers, and tell him to go and print, and then I'll start selling to wow. for, um, coppers. And everybody wanted my own pictures to the point that the photographers in NYS camp called meeting on my head. Now, this boy is spoiling our spoiling market. Him, and then, but from there, you know, I felt I was so. And they always asked, What is that one thing you would do that even if you're not paid for, you would always want to do? And that was photography for me. And that was how I moved back to Lagos and I started taking pictures. I was going everywhere, took pictures for DFID. And then someone told me one day, oh, we are told to call you from the UK to come and start shooting for us. I said, UK, me. We're living in a gondo, a guy that had hawked pure water in Lagos. You hawked pure water? I hawked pure water in Mushi. I hawked pure water in Mushi. So from hawking pure water to be called from UK that you be, that they should interview several other top photographers, but it is by all they should go and look for. That it is by all they must hire. I said, me. How Gondo. did that come to you? By mail. So at that point, that period, we were sacrificing our time. And it's a lesson for the young people out there. We were doing documentary for Bella Niger. That was the, one of the biggest blogs back then. So we'll go around Lagos, take pictures, and then we'll upload it on Bella Niger. Myself, Jidi Odukoya, and Benga Omodu. Benga Omodu will write. Two of us, we're just passionate. I left NYC, came back to University of Lagos to squat as a graduate to learn how to use Photoshop. And I'll come to that story of why we built Madhouse. Yeah. This is why we built Madhouse. Yeah. I would go to Unilag, go under the gate to squat after graduating and finishing NYC to go and squat. In the first class. I finished 4.26. We're well, almost first class. As mm. I, I, I love that. Yeah. yeah. I love that squatting. Yeah, squatting just to learn how to use Photoshop. And that was where our dexterity started from. That was where the quality of work you're seeing today started from. That was where the energy started from. And from there, we, we were going around and Bella and I just started showing what we were doing. And immediately Bella and I just started showing what we're doing, the world started noticing. So being celebrated on a global stage started since 2012, when I won the Future Awards for the Creative Artist of the Year. And then from there, I won um, um, several awards back to back. And then in 2014, I won Sundance Institute Film Festival Award in the US, my first time in the US. And all of this started building, but it started from the guy that was squatting in, Lag in, in Lagos and then taking pictures all around, everything, we took everything. Barrier, naming ceremony, freedom, <laughs> uh, whatever. We're just photographing. But that was what started building the skill. 
of being a good photographer. Building the eye will go for portfolio review. They will critique you. You will cry. And these are the things that I'm so missing. So how did you get that presidential call? That's, call where, that's where we're getting to. Yes, but after 2014 December, I saw an advert on TV. APC National Convention. But before then, I went to a kitty to call photograph fire me. Governor fire me then. When he was doing the lecture, he lost. I felt so sad. I <laughs> came back. I went to Ocean to photograph Governor Eric Beshola because fell. Why? I got to a point in my life where I knew that I was born to be a documentary photographer. I was mm. born to tell stories. Mm. So it was clear. So I started looking for opportunities to do that. Then 2015, 2014, APC convention, I went there and I was photographing. They stole my phone. <laughs> and it was the point where President Buhari, General Buhari then was voting. They stole my iPhone. Every, most photographers left that arena that day. I slept on the floor mm. at the Tesla Balogun Stadium. And I said, God, they stole my phone here. You must reward me. I don't know anybody. I came out of passion. They said, be passionate, be passionate. <laughs> a passionate creative has come to test me by logging to photograph. Even without um, tag, without accreditation, I found my way in. I said, God, you reward me. I didn't know God actually had me. Mm. And January, they called me and said, President uh, General Barry needed a photographer. And it's his bio. You are the one that fits it. I said, me, from mm. nowhere. I don't know anybody that knows him. I don't know anybody. I've never been to... Was, the only time I ever entered Villa was when I was um, an, an awardee that we're doing something. That was the only time I go to Abuja, I come back, I don't know anybody. And then I went to Rivers and campaign started, they introduced me, you'll be his photographer. And that was how and the that whole was it. journey started. I didn't oh. know anybody, not a single person. My father doesn't know my family, we don't know anybody. <laughs> Just put it out but there. But one thing that I'll never forget was the platform um, Debola Williams Red Media created then. Oh yeah, you mentioned. And I'll never forget to say thank you to them because they got the job to be his um, social, um, to do his branding then and then that was how, you know, they got to bring me in and then I started photographing him and that was where everything ah. happened.